Welcome to this edition of Northwest Real Estate Forum. I'm your host, Patricia Wangsness. This is part two of our conversation with Christopher King, Marketing Director for Caldwell Banker Bain in Washington, about what sellers need to know about how to get their properties marketed. Welcome back, Christopher. Thanks, Patricia. Good to be here. So last time we had a conversation about where buyers come from, where buyers find um, the listings, what real estate brokers are doing today to reach buyers, to form relationships, to get to know um, how we can serve them. So let's switch a little bit and talk about what does a seller need to know about how they should have their listing marketed when they put it on the market. So every broker has a different flair. Some are more technical, some are less technical. Um, what do you think are the best practices? What do sellers need to know about where they should have their homes marketed? Well, Patricia, I think one of the first things is the seller should look at the broker. If they're interviewing a broker, they should be looking at what the broker has done most recently in their marketing. Uh, there may be some really glossy, wonderful property flyers that stand out. There may be some excellent copy that the broker wrote um, about a previous listing that's going to stand out. And it will stand out on the internet or in print. Um, but similarly, I think the client would want to look at what that broker is doing online. As we know, and we've discussed, the online buyer is very, very active and very engaged, wants as much information as quickly as possible. So if I were a client interviewing a, uh, a listing broker for my property, I would be very much inclined to see what websites is my home going to be on, uh, how many, how far, how wide, and similarly, uh, are they going to be mobile optimized? Is my listing, is my home going to show up on mobile websites where a buyer is driving around through my neighborhood, happens to see the, the yard sign, and is able to pull up my listing right from that spot via GPS and be able to see optimized features, whether it's all the property photos, whether it's really good property description and remarks, or whether it's actually video. And so one of the things that we instruct our brokers to do is throw as much media as you can to the mobile space, to the mobile presence for each listing, whether it's photos, video, um, or anything else that they're doing, or maybe uh, an extra sign on the yard sign outside to say, come look inside this home and get a, get a glimpse of it. From the seat of your car. From the seat of your car, exactly, exactly. Well, um, when you say mobile optimized, now some of our audience is very technically savvy, but some of them aren't. So you're saying, I as the consumer can drive up to a house, um, you know, those QR codes, they're prevalent, but not necessarily all that effective, but we still might need to use them. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also, there's texting, texting, and can you get video on the phone? Yeah, some sites, some mobile sites will allow video, in, including our own cbbain.com's mobile site. If you have a video associated with that listing, right when you pull up that listing's property detail page right away, you can see all the photos and then you can see the video. And it's a great way to engage on your smartphone with the listing, being able to see inside and a little bit more information that you might not get just from scrolling through that property detail page. It's very engaging. And again, it's very important that the uh, listing broker make that available on a mobile optimized platform to, to address what that is, you know, we've all pulled up websites on our smartphone that just don't look that great. Um, and sometimes it might happen with an email that's not mobile optimized. It just doesn't format that well. I have to zoom in. I have a really hard time reading, reading the fine print, maybe even seeing photos. So what we want to encourage brokers to do is to list a home on a mobile optimized plat web platform so that that drive-by buyer or a buyer looking from a downtown office at a neighborhood that's seven miles away that they want to make sure they see the property in all its uh, best formatting on their smartphone so that they don't have to zoom and scroll and all of that. So because we are a video format, we of course are very engaged in video here at Northwest Real Estate Forum. Thanks so much, Christopher. You've, I think you've given us, the audience, what sellers need to know, what questions they need to ask in order to successfully sell their home. Because even though the inventory is low and sales are good, you still have competition and you want your home to sell before the home down the street. Thanks very much. It's been very helpful. Thank you, Patricia. Thanks for watching this edition of Northwest Real Estate Forum. Remember, whether you are buying, selling, or sitting on the sidelines, 
Keep watching for important information on topics that are impacting your biggest asset, your home. To learn more about this and other shows, please watch us at northwestrealestateforum.com or check us out on Facebook. While you're there, be sure to order your free copy of Neighbor Law, Fences, Trees, Boundaries, and Noise by Cora Jordan. You'll be surprised at what you learn. I'm your host, Patricia Wangsness. See you next time.